from the scrappy north side of the city, pursues a teaching career, then discovers as honorable as it were, doesn't feed his passion for marketing and his entrepreneurial drive. So he switches gears. He jumps into the advertising business, quickly becomes a killer bee, because in relatively short order, the agency cracked the top 25, then went on a rapid growth trajectory that eventually got us into the top 10, then the top five, then the top three, and well, uh, you know, let's just say on the radar in a really big way. So buy or build became the key growth strategy along with winning new business. Though I think the real secret to our success has been and continues to be our wonderfully inclusive culture that sustains us today. Michael, you've been a beacon, just like our big, beautiful sign, <laughs> for so many, including me. Welcome, my friend, to the AdFed Hall of Fame. I got into this business because I had a real appreciation for the creative process and everything around it. Uh, I was truly enchanted. Uh, the business has changed a lot over my years, certainly. It's become more complicated. But it still comes down to really one thing, telling a cohesive story across the entire consumer journey. So what I want to do for the remaining few minutes that I have, I want to talk a little bit about the, some people that have, an, have had an amazing impact on my journey. And really, it's credit to all of them and so many that I can't mention tonight that have me standing up here tonight. So first of all, before I get to the business side, I'll start with my wife, Marita. Thank you. You know, you work in this business, you put so many hours in, you miss so many things, you miss events, you miss conversations, you miss a lot. You know, I did. I clearly did. So thank you for your support and your belief, because back then, the industry or the agency was really we wouldn't have made the top 200 in the Pittsburgh Business Times, so thank you. I also want to thank Joe Blattner. Joe hired me, and I used to joke we were six people, and four of them were related. It was a different time. We were a print brokerage that wanted to be an ad agency, and it was a journey for sure, but it was a good one. Another name that I have to mention, and only a handful of people here will know this name, John Deku was our first advertising, our first uh, account services director. Uh, John had the experience, he had the age, the seniority. Uh, we were all too young, needed that senior face and that wisdom that John always, always delivered. He is no longer with us. Another person that is here tonight, and my hat is off to her in every possible way, is Karen Smith. Karen, Karen, you're a, a remarkable woman. You handled the pressure with the coolness and calmness that I haven't seen. Broadcast production was your thing, and boy, you made it happen. This place could be on fire tonight, and Karen would line us up in twos and say, all right, now let's just calm down and walk out gently and quietly. <laughs> so I also want to acknowledge a few people that have left to follow their dream, which I've always encouraged because it's not an easy thing. And there were a number of people that did, and I know I won't get all of the names, but I'll read a few. Ned Show, Jeff Tolley, John Gaisman, Bill Gerson. Bill, you've done an amazing job, not just here in the AAF, but in everything you've done with the agency. So now I'll end with the partnership, the new partners of the team. As I said, I stepped out last year. I had the privilege and the pleasure of selling it to the executive team. And that doesn't happen every day. And when you do, you ensure one thing. You ensure that the culture that you and others have built through the years has an opportunity to be carried on and send a wonderful signal to the rest of the organization. Rick Gardner sitting right there, been with us for over 20 years. Rick, same thing when you came into the organization, I know your head was spinning. You had no idea. What did you walk into as a technology slash software consultant? And now you're in an ad agency. I'm surprised you didn't walk out on the third day. But you didn't. And I credit you for a lot of the things that we did that took us into the digital era in a big way. 
Ken Johns, who couldn't be here tonight. I have nothing but great things to say about Kenny, also a partner, uh, client experience, started in account service. Actually, Kenny started as an intern. And I met, I worked with Kenny, and I thought, wow, this kid, he's good. He's got an amazing future. So what did I do? I told him he should leave the agency. I said, you should go out. You should work for another firm. I think it'd be good for you. Always wondering if that was the right decision. But he came back. And Kenny is now one of the partners. Dan Gabor, Kevin Amos, sitting right there. Dan, you are, you are awesome. When you, lock your, when you lock your sights on something, there is nothing that will stop you. And, and Kevin, I kid you sometimes about being a rose and columns guy. But you're a wizard when it comes to rows and columns, my friend. Aaron Stoner, partner, CFO. You know, qualities like dependability, reliability, trustworthy, trustworthy, you would think, okay, that's what CFOs are. Well, Aaron, you had all those qualities way before you were the CFO. You are, without a doubt, one of the most selfless people I have ever worked with. You are so much more than numbers. Thank you. And I'll end with Scott. That was the tall dude who came up here and read the, the beginning. Scott, you've been with the organization for most of your professional career. Uh, you've seen so many changes. New services, new people, people come, people go, clients come, clients go. Uh, but you were there. You were there the whole time. And you believed in what we were doing, and you believed in me. I'll end with something that I learned through the years, and it is so simple, absolutely so simple. And no one ever, or I didn't get it out of a book, it was just something that I learned. And it's very simple, and the fact is, you can get more from people willingly than you can ever compel them to do. All you have to do is let them know you believe in them, then they will pay you back tenfold by believing in you. Thank you, everyone. It's been an honor. It's been great to be in this industry.